Hello everybody. In the last episode I showed you how to add uh, video effects to your clips. In this episode I'm going to be showing you how to add audio effects to your clips. I'm going to hit over here to my little double arrow to bring up all my all my tabs here. I'm going to tell it to show my effects tab. And In my effects tab you'll see this one folder that we're looking for, the audio effects fo folder. If I arrow this down it'll have, have a whole bunch of different audio plugins you can use to drop onto a specific clip. If you find which one you're looking for, or if you're searching for one, if you know you're looking for a parametric equalizer, I can click in this little search window here and do para and it brings up all the filters with just the, with with those letters in them and here is my parametric equalizer right there under the audio effects I'm going to grab this I'm going to drag it over and drop it onto one of my audio clips here and it brings up my effect controls tab here if you've got the, the clip selected and you have your effect controls tab open it'll show you all the effects that are on that specific clip right now we're looking specifically in the audio here and a lot of these effects, audio effects, will have these little edit tabs in it, which you can click on. It'll bring up a separate window and show you how you can affect the audio for that clip. In fact, let me close this, and we're going to play through this clip and listen to the audio. He gets injured on this trip. Okay, I the only thing that we're going to hurt on this trip are somebody's feelings. Okay, so I hear this person talking here on the audio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit edit, and I'm going to do, and I'm going to start changing some of the low frequencies. I'm going to drop out the low frequencies. Let's get kind of extreme here. I'm going to uh, pull out a lot of these uh, lower frequencies. And now as we play this back, let's listen. I can leave this window open here and play this back. And it's, notice it's really, really quiet because we removed quite a bit of the frequencies. We just have some of the higher range fre frequencies here. I'm going to pull this down here. And to get this back to normal here, I'm going to pull this down. And you can do different presets. I'm going to change it to a different preset. And now I'm going to go click on it and tell it to go back to default. And now it's back to the default setting right there. You can also choose them in this window and do that as well. But let's increase our low frequencies here. Let's boost these up and kind of see what you get. And by the way, you can do this while you're playing through a clip and kind of see what sort of effects you get. Let's pull that up and pull up the, the low frequencies. Nobody gets injured on this trip. Now we got a really loud bassy uh, audio clip now that we brought up the low frequencies. So I can pull this down. You also have different uh, presets here. Uh, there's the full reset. Takes it back to normal right there. I'm going to click on this and let's say back to... Let's do a generic low pass, which brings down the higher frequencies, or you can pull this down and do a generic high pass, which brings down the low frequencies. And as you're playing through these once again, you can listen to them. Let's change this real time as I play. Injured on this trip. And we pull that up. You can hear the effect being changed as you're playing it real back real time. So I'm gonna pull this down and go back to full reset, and it's back to normal. As with your uh, video filters, you can also copy and paste these to other clips. Let's go ahead and change this and get. Let's do. Let's do a quick. Uh, low pass, generic low pass filter on this and take out the high frequencies. And I'm going to close this window here and I'm going to select this parametric equalizer effect and do control C and copy. If I move to a different clip, select that one, I can do control V as in Victor and paste and it pastes that uh, parametric equalizer with the exact same attributes. So I hit edit, you'll notice it's got the low pass filter on it. It pasted it to this clip. If you want to paste it to several clips, let me do undo so it takes that off and I'm going to select three clips here and do control V and it will paste those things each one of these clips now. I'm going to undo that and show you one other way of doing this is I can select one clip, select one clip and do control C or command C to copy and then I can select a range of clips, right click and go up to paste attributes and I can tell it to paste very specific attributes. If it had video attributes up here that were applied to that clip, it would bring those up as well, but I could uncheck those and just say, I just want to apply that parametric equalizer, uncheck everything else. I want to apply the parametric equalizer to all these clips that I have selected. Hit OK and select a clip, and you'll notice that parametric equalizer has been added. One thing that you'll notice down here is you've got these little FX icons right here, here, here that are green, and this one that is yellow. This one says with the yellow, this means that nothing has been applied to the effects yet. When it's green, that means effects have been applied to these clips, and these clips have uh, effects on them. If you want to remove all those, you can highlight all these clips, right-click, and say Remove Attributes. And we can check mark everything that we want it to remove. Right now, I'm just going to have it remove everything off of it. all these clips, video and audio. Uh, hit OK, and notice these have turned back to yellow because now there are no effects applied. And you can combine several different effects on one clip as well. Let's add the parametric equalizer. Hit edit. Let's do a high pass filter to drop down the, the low frequencies. That's applied to that clip. And let's find another audio effect to add here. Say we're looking for a reverb. Let's type in reverb. And here's my 
reverb effects right here. I'm going to grab the studio reverb and drop it onto this clip here. So we've added two effects and I'm going to go under edit and uh, change this preset. Let's go down to preset. We'll make a big large vocal reverb here. Close that. Now let's play through this. Uh, don't, don't sue me Connor. I'm filming you. There we go. We've got that big echo going on and we've got the low frequencies dropped and it's all in the same clip. So you can add as many of these as you want to. Once again, if we copy this, go to the next clip, right click and add paste and paste attributes. We can add those exact same effects to this next clip here. Hit OK. And now it's been added to this same clip. There we go. So that's the basics on this tutorial. If you have any questions, please post them. On an upcoming tutorial, I'll be covering the, ascent, the essential sound panel uh, for doing some sound mixing. But those are the basics of adding, of adding audio effects to your clips.